Shri Gurubhyo Namaha. Now we are going to see chemical reactions and equations. What is a chemical reaction? Chemical reactions are the processes in which new substances with new properties are formed. During chemical reaction, a rearrangement of atoms takes place between the reacting substances to form new substances having entirely different properties. So during the chemical reaction, the atoms of one element do not change into those of another element. Only a rearrangement of atoms takes place in a chemical reactions. The substance which take part in the chemical reactions are called reactants. A new substance produced as the result of chemical reactions are called as products. We will now give an example of a chemical reaction. Let us study the chemical reaction of magnesium with oxygen of air now. When magnesium ribbon is heated, it burns in air with a dazzling white flame to form a white powder called magnesium oxide. Actually, on heating, Magnesium combines with oxygen present in air to form magnesium oxide. See the equation magnesium plus oxygen gives magnesium oxide. The magnesium ribbon is cleaned by rubbing it with the sandpaper to remove the protective layer of magnesium oxide from the surface of the ribbon. It is not that chemical reactions can be carried out only in science lab. A large number of chemical reactions keep on occurring in our daily life. For example, soaring of milk, formation of curd, cooking of food, digestion of food in our body, process of respiration, fermentation of grapes, rusting of iron, burning of fuels, burning of candle wax, ripening of fruits are some of the day-to-day -day life chemical reactions. An important question now arises, how do we come to know that a chemical reaction has taken place? This will become clear from the following discussion on the characteristics of chemical reactions. So the characteristics of chemical reactions are evolution of a gas, formation of a precipitate, change in color, change in temperature and change in state. We will now give some examples to show all the characteristics of chemical reactions one by one. Evolution of a gas. Some chemical reactions are characterized by the evolution of gas. For example, when zinc granules reacts with dilute sulfuric acid, then bubbles of hydrogen gases are produced. So, the chemical reaction between zinc and sulfuric acid is characterized by the evolution of hydrogen gas. Then the chemical reaction between sodium carbonate and dilute hydrochloric acid is characterized by the evolution of carbon dioxide gas. Then formation of precipitate. When potassium iodide is added with lead nitrate, it will give yellow precipitate of lead iodide. When sulfuric acid is added with barium chloride, it gives white precipitate of barium sulfate. What do you mean by a precipitate? Precipitate is a solid product which separates out from the solution during the chemical reactions. A precipitate can be formed by mixing aqueous solution of reactants when one of the product is insoluble in water. The next one, change in color. Potassium permanganate, you know the potassium permanganate color is purple. Potassium permanganate, when it is added with citric acid, it gives colorless potassium permanganate. The purple color is turned into colorless. Next one, sulfur dioxide plus potassium dichromate. Potassium dichromate is orange in color. When sulfur dioxide is added to it, it gives green color. The next, change in temperature. Quick lime, when it is added with water, it gives out heat. So, this is an example for exothermic reaction. Heat is evolved. Exothermic reaction means heat is evolved out. The next one, barium hydroxide plus ammonium chloride gives an endothermic reaction. It is an example for loss of heat. So, endothermic reaction means absorption of heat. 
the last one is change in state combustion of candle wax is an example for change in state the candle wax is changed into solid to liquid now we will study about chemical equations what is a chemical equation the method of representing a chemical reaction with the help of symbols and formulae of a substance involved in it is known as chemical equation let us take one example to understand the meaning of chemical equation clearly zinc metal reacts with dilute sulfuric acid to form zinc sulfate and hydrogen gas this equation can be written in words as zinc plus sulfuric acid gives zinc sulfate plus hydrogen this here zinc plus sulfuric acid are known as reactants and zinc sulfate and hydrogen are called as products the substances which combine or react are known as reactants the new substance formed in a reaction are called as product and these two are indicated by, indicated in the equation a arrow sign pointing towards the right hand side is put between the reactants and products this arrow indicates that the substances written on the left hand side are combining to give the substances written on the right hand side in the equation it should be clear by now that chemical equation is a short hand method of representing a chemical equation we have two types of chemical equations balanced equation and unbalanced chemical equation now let us see a balanced equation a balanced chemical equation has equal number of atoms of different elements in the reactants and products now let us take the same example zinc plus sulfuric acid gives zinc sulfate plus hydrogen so let us see the number of zinc atoms in the reactants part only one atom is there in the product side also we have only one zinc atom number of hydrogen atoms in the reactant side we have two where h2so4 is there no so from that h, h h atom is two and in the product side also we have hydrogen so it is two number of sulfur atoms in the reactant side is one the number of sulfur in the product side is also one number of atoms in that is oxygen atoms is 4 yes o4 o4 is there in the reactant side the same is there in the product side also so the number of atoms in the reactants is equal to the number of atoms in the products this is an example for balanced chemical equation now we will balance the unbalanced chemical equation what do you mean by balancing of chemical equation the process of making the number of different types of atoms equal on both sides of an equation is called as balancing of chemical equation the simple equations are balanced by hit and trial method we will take one example to understand the balancing of chemical equation by hit and trial method hydrogen burns in oxygen to form water this reaction can be written in an equation form as h2 plus o2 gives h2o in this reaction h2 and o2 are reactants whereas h2o is the product let us count the number of hydrogen atoms and oxygen atoms in the reactants so frame a table like this number of hydrogen atoms in the reactants part is 2 and in the product part is 2 number of oxygen atoms in the reactant side is 2 whereas in the product side it is 1 the number of hydrogen atoms is equal on both the sides but the number of oxygen atoms is unequal there are two oxygen atoms on the left side but only one oxygen atoms in the right side to have two oxygen atoms on the right side we multiply h2o by 2 and we can write 2 h2o so that our equation becomes h2 plus o2 gives 2 h2o let us now count the number of various atoms on the both sides number of hydrogen atoms in reactant side it is 2 but in the product side it becomes 4 whereas the number of oxygen atom is balanced here 2 2 on each side 
though the number of oxygen atoms have e become equal but the number of hydrogen atoms has become unequal there are two hydrogen atoms on the left side but four hydrogen atoms on the right side to have four hydrogen atoms on the left side we multiply hydrogen by 2 and we write 2 H2 so that 2 H2 plus O2 gives 2 H2O let us now count the various atoms present in both the sides so the number of hydrogen atoms in the reactant side becomes 4 in the product side becomes 4 oxygen atoms becomes 2 and in the product side it becomes 2 so the chemical equation contains equal number of atoms of hydrogen and oxygen on both the sides so this is a balanced equation chemical equations can be made more informative in three ways one by indicating the physical states of the reactants and products by indicating the heat changes taking place in the reaction by indicating the conditions under which the reactions takes place let us take the first one there can be four physical states for a reactants and products in a chemical reaction solid liquid aqueous solution and gas solid is indicated by yes liquid is indicated by L, aqueous solution is indicated by AQ and gas is indicated by G. Let us see the first example here, calcium hydroxide, it is an aqueous solution. So we have indicated by AQ plus carbon dioxide which is a gas, it is indicated by G, gives carbon calcium carbonate that is it is a solid it is indicated by S yes, plus water which is a liquid it is indicated by L. Second example is for the indication of heat changes carbon plus oxygen gives carbon dioxide plus heat heat is evolved so it is an example for exothermic reaction so carbon plus oxygen gives carbon dioxide plus heat. The third equation is an example for indicating the conditions. So potassium chlorate is heated in the presence of manganese dioxide catalyst. It decomposes to form potassium chloride and oxygen gas. This is written in this equation. So in the presence of manganese dioxide it is indicated in the near the arrow MnO2. So MnO2 here acts as a catalyst and this delta symbol stands for heat. Let us study the last equation. Methanol or methyl alcohol is manufactured from carbon monoxide and hydrogen. The mixture of carbon monoxide and hydrogen gas is compressed to 300 atmospheres pressure and then passed over a catalyst consisting of a mixture of zinc oxide and chromium oxide heated to a temperature of 300 degrees centigrade. So the conditions 300 degree C and the catalyst which is a mixture of zinc oxide and chromium oxide that is ZNO plus CrO3 can be written like this. So we have written the chemical equation as CO plus 2H2 gives 300 ATM that is atmosphere and heat is 300 degree C to the catalyst ZNO and CrO3 gives methanol CH3OH. Thank you children.